If you'd like to know how to spot a bad final expense teleseal script in under 60 seconds, you found the right video. Now, this video is not going to be 60 seconds, but I'm going to teach you how to spot one in the first 60. Are you ready? Here we go. And before we dive into this, my name is Jason. I'm your friend in the business. Very blessed to partner with brand new and veteran agents alike in our national agency, working shoulder to shoulder, selling life. Medicare and annuities face to face, but more importantly, in the telespace and free resources always available for your taking at jasonfinalexpense.com. And I appreciate you joining with us in this content. Hope you like it. Hope it brings you value. So first off, how to spot it in 60 seconds is pretty easy to see because bad scripts always bleed in securities. Bad final expense teleseal scripts always, believe it or not, go to these soft, warm, fluffy places, and then you wonder why you're not making your paper. For example, our opening script is, uh, hi, how are things going at uh, 123 Main Street? Don't do this. You're creating huge walls, and you're trying to make the wealth. So if your script starts with, how are things going at 123 Main Street? All the client hears is, what are you trying to sell me? What are you trying to sell me? They know you don't care, even if maybe you're a really compassionate, caring person and you do care about what's going on at 123 Main Street. They know the real tune is you're trying to sell them something. So when you start off with this warm little fuzzy, make me feel better, kind of a start to your script, you're not going to find as much success as if you maybe led a different way. So this is a very bad start to a script. Hi, how are things going on 123 Main Street? You're letting the client then take control. All the clients going is scratching their head going, what I'm hearing is you're trying to sell me. Don't create sales resistance in your script. This is a bad script, a bad way to start. The start is how you can spot these things a mile away. All right. And I've been in this industry a long time. I've done insurance sales combined with my telesales background, 20 plus years, two plus decades, just a little bit. I was doing telesales before it was cool. And this is a really bad start. Hi, how are things going on 123 Main Street? Also asking, hi, how's the weather? How's your dog? How are you today? Don't go there. Uh, just don't. Here's some more scripting for you. Um, a Medicare script. Um, hi, this is Jason with the meta blankety blankety uh, helpful blankety. This is okay. Are you ready? I'm going to read it verbatim to you. This is bad. Um, hi, this is Jason with the uh, meta gap help desk. Uh, come on. How are you? And, and then the next part of the script says, how are you? You're not from some meta gap help desk. Come on. Let's get real. Right. Are you from that organization? No, you're not. Okay, Medigap help desk, where's your help desk, right? If your company's name is that, then fine, lead with it. But this is a bad way to start your script. You can spot these things a mile away. If you start off with, hi, this is Jason with the Medigap help desk. Hi, how are you? All they hear is, what are you trying to sell me? They know that you don't care how they are right now. What you need to focus on is value. And this is a very bad start. Another way is a lot of people say they're from senior benefits. Here's another script. Um, hi, this is Jason from senior benefits. Uh, how are you today? Once again, quit asking people how they are doing today. This is just putridly horrible. And these scripts abound all over the place. It's bad, bad, bad scripting. And then you wonder why you're not making your sales. You're creating your own problems and you're just trying to get profitability. So anytime that a script starts off with the first second or so, hi, how are you today? Anytime you do this, bad script. Anytime you're asking, Hi, how are things going on 123 Main Street? Mighty bad way to start the sales process. They can smell it. They can smell it. They can smell it. Think about it. Think about it like from your grandparents' perspective. They've been on this earth longer than you have. Very wise, wise, all right, people. Amazing wisdom can be had from our retirees. You don't start the call with, hi, Jason, how are you today? Please tell me you're doing great. And then please ask me how I am. It's the wrong way to start, my friends. You do not start final expense telesales calls like this. It's a very bad way to try to make the wealth. You can smell it anytime you're asking, hi, how are you? How was your day? How's your dog? How's the weather? How's the weather over there? You may care about the weather, but what they hear is, what are you trying to sell me? What are you trying to sell me? Hi, how are you today? Hi, I'm from the Medigap help desk. No, you're not. Hi, I'm from the Medicare division of blankety blankety. You're not from a Medicare division. Come on, right? They know you're not. So let's just be real. Let's be open. If they sent in a Medicare lead, then fine. Lead with what you're going to do for them and be okay with who you are. Look at yourself in the mirror and go, you know what? I'm an insurance agent. I'm going to help some people today. Don't be running away from it by saying you're from the senior benefits department. Come on now. All right. 
you're there to help them with life insurance, final expense, whole life insurance. You're there to help insure their dreams, insure what they want you to do for them, which is help them find a solution, right? And help them see that you are there as a solution, a problem solver. You'll sell more. But when you start your script with, hi, how are you today? Terrible way to start your script. Hi, how are things going? Hi, how's the weather? Um, how's your dog? How's your shag carpet? They smell it. They see right through this. This is how you can spot a bad script in typically the first couple seconds of the piece of paper. Hope this helps you find increased profitability. If you need good proven power scripts, good systems, good mentorship to help make the most out of your insurance license, feel free to reach out at jasonfinalexpense.com. Love to have a conversation with you either way. And if you need any free resources, reach out. We'll do everything we can to serve you. Keep taking care of these great people. Hope you enjoy the short content. We'll see you soon, my friends.